Should artists like myself who do murals and studio work and everything in between be worried about AI art, artificial intelligent art? The answer is yes, yes, yes. We should be very worried about AI art. And worried does not have to mean negative all the time. Really, it's all about preparing for the future. And there's a couple reasons why I think artists like myself should be worried about AI art. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about copyright, artist opportunities, and benefits when it comes to AI art. So first, copyright. Artists should be very worried about copyright when it comes to AI art. So the way AI works is that it's an algorithm that someone creates. It's supposed to mimic human behavior. They go through deep learning, machine learning, so it has to be fed. So it is being fed my artwork, your artwork, the artists down the street, their artwork all over the world. If it's online and can be uh, reached by that algorithm, they're going to use it. And talking to the algorithm to create something new, all you have to do is create a prompt. So basically a text description of what you want. Two of the biggest platforms, Mid Journey and Dali, are great when it comes to artists being able to create really imaginative new works. So on Mid Journey, you're able to see the different prompts that people will use to actually create some of that work. And when we get into copyright issues, so the thing is now artists can actually type in the style of someone else's work. So you're literally able to throw into that prompt any artist style and a description of what you want the machine to make based off of that style. And the artist Greg Rutkowski is one of the most referenced artists online when it comes to Mid Journey. So people will throw in his name to mimic his style for something that they want. And that is where everything gets dicey. Now you're basically creating something new off of someone else's style, especially off of a living artist. So that is why that artist really came out strong against AI being able to use living artist work because we still need to actually create and make a living off of our creation. Before, you need to have actual skills to copy his work in a way that was indistinguishable. So now anyone who can just type is able to actually create work based off of Greg Rutkowski's uh, style and flair and sort of aesthetics. And I talked to a few people in the art industry and they have lawyers that they've talked to and they said it's very difficult, almost impossible for an artist to combat that. There's really no way an artist can go after an AI platform or someone using an AI platform when it comes to remixing their work into something new. Before, like I said, it used to be very difficult because you had to have the skill set to use someone else's work. So copyright is a huge issue when it comes to AI. I can easily go in there and say, you know what, I want to copy David Hockney's, who's a famous artist. I want to copy David Hockney and say, David Hockney, car, house, blue, and create something that is David Hockney-esque. That gets into my second area of concern when it comes to artists worrying about AI, and that is artist opportunities shrinking. When you walk into a hotel, you see artwork in the lobby. You go to the room, you see artwork in the room. A lot of times, that is the hotel going to an art consultant, and the art consultant coming to a, an artist and saying, hey, we want you to paint 400 small images for you know this hotel that has 400 rooms that means paying the artist for 400 variations of their artwork and that means also working with an artist another human being that has emotions and limits but now in the future there can be ai consulting firms that don't need artists all they have to do is create a prompt and create work for those 400 rooms this is the same for film and television a lot of times when you see a movie and there's artwork in there, that could be someone's artwork. But now these consulting firms can work with film and television studios and create artwork based off of prompts for movies and television. So set directors can actually create artwork without even having to rely on any living artists. So the amount of opportunities in different areas of the art world, I can see shrinking in the future. But I can also see a lot of opportunities opening up in the future when it comes to artists working side by side with an algorithm, a platform that has AI when it comes to helping out their practice. I can also see how easy it could be 
for an artist to create 400 pieces just with AI. With the printing technology today, you can actually create a lot of canvases that feel and look real. So an artist can actually work with AI to create 400 variations of their style really easy. And that's why I think artists should be proactive when it comes to embracing the this artificial intelligence sort of movement that's happening. I see this being that next sort of step, that next step up in terms of what do we see next from the art world? And I'll say this, not every part of my practice will be affected by AI. There's some things that AI just can't do. And there's a part of society when it comes to collectors and people that love art and want to work with artists that love the people behind the canvas and the artist's back background and their stories just as much as they love the art. So I believe artists should be worried about how it will affect their practice, but more concerned about how to adapt for the future because change is always going to happen as an artist. So figuring out how AI will affect your opportunities and also figuring out how AI can be useful in your daily practice, how to use it as a tool to create work because if AI is supposed to mimic human behavior, you can probably teach it to mimic your behavior so that you don't have to work as much. And artificial intelligence is not limited to just copying visuals, it's also audio as well. Check out this video of AI Jay-Z reciting Shakespeare. They just fuck to him, but to take arms again, to see your troubles and by opposing and them to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we in the herd of kin that does the natural shocks that flesh is here too. I know that's bad, but it's early AI, but it just opens you up to what the possibilities are. Now imagine if Jay-Z can do his next album just by typing it out on a computer. Mm as artists, I would say embrace the change, figure out how to make the change work for you, and hopefully let's all win together. There's nothing else that we can do. Change is gonna happen. So let's figure this out. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.